We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I've got the great pleasure of being with Mr. Brahima Sanu, who is Director of the Telecommunication Development Bureau, BDT, for ITU, the International Telecommunication Union. Mr. Sanu, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. My great pleasure. As Director of BDT, uh, you are the patron of the Young Innovators Competition. I wanted to ask you, how can the innovative use of ICTs transform education in particular? As you know, it has been proven that uh, in the near future, 90% of the decent, job in the world, decent jobs in the world will require ICT uh, skills. So it happened that ICT also can help to increase the capacity and the training for other sectors. So having that in mind, I would say when you're talking about education today, using ICT for education, we have to ask ourselves the right question. I'm hearing from time to time from some ministries of education, even some ministers in charge of ICT, saying that it's very expensive to, have, to, to put in place uh, training based on ICTs. But I keep telling them, this is not the right question. The right question today is, how much will it cost not to use the ICT today for education? So this gives you all, uh, what I'm, I'm trying to say here, is that with the ICT, we can really change. And even for developing countries, and least developed countries, we can save a lot of money and resources if you could use the ICT. I think that today, the developing world need more, needs more uh, education based on ICT than develop, develop world. For the simple reason that they are in shortage of teacher, in shortage of uh, classroom, you have to construct every time what you can do with the, the, the ICT environment. And what are the major challenges to put that in place? It's a question of policy. I, we have a, I moderate a ministerial roundtable uh, on the ICT for education. And the point was, let's try to think in terms of ecosystem. Because in the room, we had one minister of health, but also were people from the ICT sector. And I was telling them, now that we are convinced, let's think in terms of ecosystem and try to bring to our meetings the ministry in charge of education, ministry in charge of health, ministry in charge of, uh, of commerce, ministry in charge of education, uh, of agriculture. So we have to bring those in the ecosystem of ICT and in doing so, they will become the first client. And as you know, even for them, you know, today the, we're talking about the broadband, but voice business is getting to a saturation. We have to go for data. And if I were, if I were a, an operator, I may not go to a rural area, put broadband because one broadband in a rural area. I need a client. And generally, those people living in the rural area don't have the power of purchase for the broadband. So we need actually the government through the e-education, e-health and other e-services to become the first client in the rural area. And this will, uh, will boost the demand on the broadband and in doing so they can solve a lot of problems. ITU organizes a number of uh, events such as this every year, but this is a, a very key event in the ITU calendar. I wanted to ask you, what in your opinion is the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? ITU Telecom World actually is unique in this sense that first, it is a very neutral environment. And it is really a unique platform where you can get member state, government, you can get private sector, you can get academia, and you can get financing institution, and you can get development partners where they can come together. Again, not in the conflict environment, but a very neutral, par a very neutral platform. I think that this one is unique uh, for IT Telecom, and we have to continue it, because nobody else is doing it, at least in the neutral as the way IT is doing it. And finally, do you think there's a main message, a key message that has come from ITU Telecom World 2013 this year? 
what I'm being hearing here and then is total satisfaction from those who come to visit and so also who make exhibition. But few people told me I'm very happy with the telecom because it gives me first an opportunity to see the technology. But secondly, and more importantly, I have enough time here to discuss in depth with those who are exhibiting, and which is very important for them. They say, at least, you know, some cases you just go as a tourist, you just see the, the, what they're exposing, but you don't have time to discuss with them. Now, you see, they told me that they were very happy as Victor was taking enough time to discuss with them. So I think that this uh, is what I'm hearing. As ITU is what I, will, as, as been, I have been hearing. Mr. Stanley, well, thank you very much indeed for sharing that with us. And uh, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Great pleasure, as usual. Thank you.